$13.13. That's what tipped employees, including servers in Indiana, earn as a minimum wage, excluding tips. One state lawmaker wants to change that. State House Bureau Chief David Williams is here to explain. David? So get a good look at this map from the U.S. Department of Labor. Indiana is right here in blue. We are one of the only Midwestern states that pays tipped employees what is required under the Federal Fair Labor Standards Act. All of the other states in green, well, they pay more. Sarah Carly Maser says it is time for a change. Food with Heart is what 23-year-old Lizzie Bilbrey serves every day. I've been a server for four and a half years. She loves working at Three Sisters Cafe. Oh, I rely heavily on my tips. Um, if I don't get tipped, then I don't get paid. So that's something that is really big because the hourly doesn't really count as money. She earns $2.75 an hour. It's better with tips. <laughs> Sometimes there'll be a 25% tip, and that's awesome. Around the holidays, people are more giving, but normally it's 18 or lower. I believe we have 13 other states across the nation that are really looking at increasing that tipped wage. Democrat State Rep Carly Maser wants Indiana to be on that list, which is why she's working on a bill to make it happen. What do you want to raise it to? I think that's a conversation that we just need to have. Um, it needs to be a gradual increase. This isn't just about a minimum wage conversation. It is a good common sense conversation of how we can improve the livable wages for people in the industry. I'm so for it. Yeah, I think that we need it. Luke Basil, who manages a different restaurant, agrees, but he also feels like it wouldn't be easy for owners. I think they'd certainly have to up prices. Um, and I don't know if that would discourage people from tipping as much. We asked Three Sisters Cafe owner Alex Monroe where he stands on raising tipped employee wages. Sometimes they make $50 an hour, sometimes they make a dollar an hour. And finding a nice balance has always been a problem. It'll be difficult for business owners, but I think ultimately it's for the greater good. This is a story we will definitely keep following. I've got a poll going on my Facebook page right now. I want to know what you think. Do you think Indiana lawmakers should raise the tipped employee wage from $2.13 an hour? Vote now on my David Williams Wish TV Facebook page.